Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'm going to unbox a brand new sneak peek to Diamond Art Club. It is called The Governor's Party. This is a beautiful Chuck Pinson painting and I cannot wait to show it to you. It's got this Christmas scene, kind of like mid-1800s. Oh, I am just super excited. Um, this is a square diamond painting with Aurora Borealis diamonds. It's an 84 by 56 centimeter, so it is rather large. Uh, actually, a really good size for putting up on the wall. So, how are you all doing today? I'm doing fantastic. This video is coming out a little bit later than I anticipated, but I hope you're okay with it. Um, I would normally shoot in, in normal natural light but we are working with what we work with today i'm so sorry check that out isn't that romantic now the reason that i was drawn to this particular painting is because this is the governor's mansion of richmond virginia and if you didn't know i actually went to school in richmond virginia so i'm very familiar with this house um and i assure you it does not look like that now <laughs> Well, it kind of does, but not really. Anyway, um, let's let's just get into it. So this is the legend. It's got 50 colors, you guys. 50 colors, and there's two Aurora Borealis diamonds, which are those special diamonds with the iridescent coating on top. It came with a toolkit. This toolkit has tweezers, a blue pen, two plates of heart wax, a transparent boat, a squishy for the pen, and some baggies. And inside here is the drills and the canvas. So let's see what we got. And if you hear anything weird, it's probably a movie that my husband's watching. Because he's home. This is very abnormal for, for me. <laughs> so you get a little bit of home life in today's video. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Oh, that sky looks fantastic. Is it going to be purple? That would be great. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. In this bag, we have all the drills. Wow, there are a lot of purples in this. Oh my goodness. And you can tell that these drills go to this painting because of the label that's on it. And it looks like, oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. We'll get into those in a little bit. There's an instruction book as well. If you're new to diamond painting, uh, you might want to have a look over this or just watch our videos. <laughs> You're already here, just stay, stay a while, watch our tutorial videos, that would be great. Um, so this is the painting, holy mackerel. Actually, that's really good detail, you guys. Look at the, look at the horses, can you see them? They're really good. I can see that this is a lantern from this guy. You can see the different people and the carriage and everything. I love square diamond paintings you guys i i love them oh look there's like an owl up here in the tree as well this one's kind of muted it's mostly browns and then purple <laughs> but i think this is going to make an excellent winter painting so if you're thinking about getting something for christmas now is the time to start considering to purchase those so as you can see on both sides as always there's a legend it has the symbols and the dmc numbers so you don't have to do any guesswork it also on this canvas has the name and the size and the artist so you know that it's licensed and this has a lifetime warranty so if anything happens to it you just contact diamond art club and they will help you that's really important to know I'm going to bring you down so that we can look at the little details because I think that you might want to see what the drill field looks like. Okay, so I hope that you can see here that the drill field is quite clear. Um, as usual, I, I really enjoy the square drill canvases from Diamond Art Club. They are very easy to read. Um, the symbols aren't too difficult to distinguish and none of the symbols look too similar. So let's see, and I'm just having a look at all of the different symbols here. You can clearly tell. From close up, it's hard to tell, but um, actually these are two people right here, and you can see the garland. It's so romantic, isn't it? With the, with the dresses and everything. Just fabulous. So just remember when you're working on these paintings that they will look better when you stand back further because 
they do use a process of hand charting the image to make sure that you'll get the clearest picture from further away. You can even tell that this guy, like look at him, he's got a cane and everything. Isn't that cool? Look at his hat and everything. So up close, you might not be able to tell, but then when I go like this, can you see him now? I think it's much easier to tell that that is a man in like a red jacket, a red coat. So if you're a history buff or if you really like this time period or maybe you have a connection to Richmond or something like that, you may enjoy this painting, I think. Um, plus there's a lot of purple in it, so who can say no to that, right? <laughs> Let's have a look at these diamonds. Wow, these are some really big packs of drills. Look at all that purple. Holy moly. So let me bring you in close. There we go. That's much better. So as you can see, we've got some grays here. $37.99 is a dark gray. $333 is a beautiful purple color. And we have three big bags of that here. $318, $413. We've got some brick color, $355. 414 another gray 3371 two big bags of the brown dark brown 317 got more of a coral color 3830 779 is another brown color there we've got 310 just one bag just one bag that's not bad at all <laughs> I once, um, there's a, there's a pretty big joke on my channel anyway. I did a diamond painting by Diamond Art Club called Nightbringer, and it had 47,684 310 diamonds. So one bag is fine. <laughs> it was something like 13 or 14 bags. Crazy. Beautiful painting though. 37, 46, we've got three bags of that as well. Gorgeous purple. Look at that. It's more bluey purple and 33.25 so that's our first strip done next up we've got <clears throat> 340 which is lavender 739 two bags of that creamy peach color 208 is gorgeous this one's more of a magenta purple 37.70 is a nice pale pink 415 is a good gray, a stone gray. 938, we've got two bags of that as well. 155 is another kind of slightly more purple lavender, maybe a wisteria. 3755, 775, 3841, Ooh, look at that. That's like a terracotta color. 3776. 3777. They're very different, aren't they? 3860 and 935. So that's strip number two. And here's the last one. This is one, the one that's going to have those Aurora Borealis diamonds. So we've got 3853. 937. 762. 814. 3837, gorgeous color. I love that purple. 3864, 890, 141. This is the Aurora Borealis diamond. So I think you can tell that this one has a bit more shine and sparkle to it. You might even be able to tell in this lighting better than in the other videos that I've done. That's what an AB looks like, and it is so pretty, right? Then we keep going, 743 and 797, 321, 3346, gorgeous green, 3854 and 55, 327, 209, 915, oh, love that, love that, it's like mulberry, 3347, here's our second AB color, it's an orange, pretty, it looks like a mirror on top, right? So pretty. And 720. All right, let's look and see where we, where they are on the canvas. So 
move them off to the side. Uh, the 131, the orange, is number one on the canvas, and I can tell that it's in all of the lit areas. So here, where in the windows, there are ones just inside all the windows, and up here around the chimney area there, inside the light up here, we've got them, they are, do, 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 one, 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 one. Nope, they're only in the areas with the windows and where there's uh, lights shining. And then number two is 141. So that's the white AB. And two is sprinkled in the snow and on the rooftop. Let me just see. I'm checking all of the rooftops first because I see it over here in this one. So we've got two here. We've got two in the snow down here and just making sure you can see it. So it's right here. There's not a lot of AB. It's right here as well in the bottom in the snow. And I don't see any more, but that doesn't mean that it's not there. But there's just a very light smattering of AB in this painting. So it's mostly a, you know, it's a full drill painting with mostly solid colors, but tiny accents of AB, which is what I like personally. So let me just zoom you out real quick. So what do you think? What do you think about this painting? I think this is fantastic. It's going to look so good, especially as a gorgeous piece for the winter, you know? Um, I would say that this one, I, I don't know the price of it yet because it's not listed on the website yet. This is going to go live on diamondartclub.com at 9 a.m. for diamond, diamond and ruby members of the rewards. Check your email at 9 a.m. Pacific whatever that is in your time zone. For me, it's 5 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, so 9 a.m. Pacific time, Diamond and Ruby Club members will get the email to invite them to check out the new selection, the new arrivals. And at 9.30 a.m., half an hour later, it will be open to the general public by just going to the website. So however that is for you, whatever tier you may be, that is how you will access these paintings. I'd like to know down below whether this appeals to you, if this is something that you would like. I know there are a lot of Chuck Pinson fans out there, uh, people who love landscape diamond paintings. This reminds me of Little Women, you know, like th those kind of days, um, even though those days are long gone and, you know, we we still sometimes like to have um, a romantic image of them. And I think that this portrays that romanticism really, really well. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. What do you think of this painting? Would you consider putting it on your wish list? Or do you think you have to buy it right away? <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I hope that this video finds you well and that you're all doing very good and staying safe. Uh, and I can't wait to show you what's coming up really soon. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.